Hello again, you're with the Harry Golfer in my car and today is my second golf lesson and I thought I'd wear the nice bright shirt, you'll see all of this later. Might want to turn the brightness down a little bit. Anyway, to recap, lesson one was I had to change my grip, make it a little stronger, move the thumb on my right hand and try and improve my posture. Strike. So, in terms of that one there, 157 carry. The other thing is, I'm now starting to move better. My ball position has got to creep forward. Though. Does that? Yeah. So, I was going to wait until I put that on camera for you before I was going to mention it. My last session on the range, I actually worked out that um, my ball position had to go forward about half an inch. So basically, whenever you now impact the golf ball, it will then uh, pick up with the camera. So just as we've been doing for me. I described that as toy. Slightly, but I would say that's also a little bit of showing off for the camera, that one. That was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Too much trying to find this posture, okay. and it, it just doesn't work. Right up, come on. 
So posture, a little bit better. It's a little better, isn't it? It's not... So the one thing that I'm... I just want a little bit more pelvic tilt. Tiny right. little bit, so stick the bum out, basically, yep. in, uh, in plain English. However, from the base of the spine to the thoracic, it's in a very good position. It's nice and strong. Yeah. It could be that sort of that shoulder area here for you is just a little bit rounded. So we just have to accept that it's not going to be Chris Wood. It certainly or... aches after a practice session. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Using muscles you haven't I... used before. Of course, go. Yep. I've always had a fair bit of daylight here. Okay. Is, is that an issue for, for you, do you think? Or do you th um, if I was to bring those hands in, perhaps I would straighten up even more. Potentially. So if you obviously raise the handle up, that's going to lift the shoulders up. Yeah. So yes, it's a valid point. The one thing, distance obviously away from the ball is going to compromise is strike. Um, so we can look at it, yeah. but it's not my number one concern at the moment. Yeah. Um, in terms of the swing, so if we have a look. So this is what we're going to be predominantly working on today. It's that little bit of, as we spoke Ooh, about it's before, a bit in, it's inside, isn't it? A little bit inside, a little bit of loss of connection in the mm. left arm. Okay, a bit twisted as such, coming behind us, up to the top of the swing. We then sort of just use, so there's that slight overswing again. Yeah. Good thing, we don't see the club. Yeah, I'm not seeing the club head appear anymore. So it has shortened. Could it shorten even more, potentially? Yeah. But we'll, uh, we'll look at that. It's a little bit what I would call collapsed. Mm. A little bit sort of tucked in. Um, so you, we'll... you do that when you get old, James. <laughs> you, have to, you have to bend that left elbow. You, you haven't got that excuse yet. You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we then come down into the golf ball. Now, the one thing today... That's, that's a little bit over. I can see that already. Tiny bit. Tiny, tiny bit. Now, the one thing today is your consistency of club path mm -hmm. has been a little bit inconsistent. Yeah. So we've had a few from in to out, a few from out to in. So that's what I really want to concentrate on today to see if we can get that consistency. And especially obviously when you mentioned towards the driver. Yeah, that, that is a, still a little over, isn't it? A little bit over, a little bit toey. Um, we haven't sort of shifted the weight in the right no. way. We've sort of dropped a tiny bit. Um, so there's a few, obviously, little things that we've worked on already. God, there's a bald patch there, mate. <laughs> it's getting a bit thin, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to wear a hat next I time. Say, it's not too bad. So you'll be losing your reputation as the hairy golfer if that happens. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, follow through is excellent. I like yeah. that. That's great. So full hip turn through. So let's just have a quick look from front on. Great low half stability. As we can see, it's just gone a little bit on the inside here. Yeah. Well, I can fix that. Yeah. Yeah, there's that collapse. Just past parallel. Four degrees past parallel. So it's not huge. At least that the club head is now here compared to, say, down here. Yeah. That might be an exaggeration, but... Um, and then as we come down and through... Mm. Sort of dipped a little bit. And that's that left shoulder coming down, which is creating that outward. It's not the prettiest path. thing in the world. Yeah, and I'm very late to the party there. Yeah. Okay. No, it's not bad. So it's not, not bad, bad for an old man. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the focus today is we'll just touch on the posture to get the glute out. Yep. Um, and then what I really want to do is just work on consistency of path for you. Okay. All right. So let's... Uh, it's okay. not bad for February, though, is it? I mean, yeah. February, you're playing once a week golf. I know, and especially with the weather that we've had. That's, uh, that's yeah. not helped. So I would like to think by mid-March, we'll be not far off. Yeah, so, it's certainly better. All right. What I'm going to get you to do is I want you to get as close to that February as possible on the way back. Yeah. So, without hitting it. so I obviously don't want you swinging out here. Yeah. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn to get in this position here. And we're going to have a slightly in. Good, good. So that almost the reference point is that the, the shaft on the club is parallel with the foot line. Yeah. Most importantly, that the club base is in a neutral position. It's not straight open or it's not going to be closed. So in that position there. 
Okay, now what you have been doing is obviously coming too far on the inside. Let's go on. I think there's going to be a lot of that. Yeah, so that's what it's there for. So if it falls over, it's absolutely fine. Good. And that, good. Now I just want you to practice the backswing because I'm going to move it before you hit the shot. Because I don't want you hit it on the way down. So I just want you to practice going up to the top. There we go. Good. And we'll do that some three or four times. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah, there's a few clicks there. And one more time for me. Good. Good. You okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like a gym workout. Right. I'm going to move that back, so it's still going to be in peripheral vision. Yep. But you know when it's in it. <coughs> okay. So I'm going to pop that oh, Just so it's in your uh, in your vision. It's mainly the downswing because I don't want you to hit it on the downswing. Lovely strike. Just got to face the smidge over the downswing. Fantastic strike. I would imagine to you, does that feel as if you're going out there? It, that really feels like I'm swinging outside. But okay. I quite like having some of the work. Good. Relax your forearms, maybe you're going to pop by. That's a golf shot. I agree. Lovely strike. One point four three smash factor. Now that is impressive. Okay, so just again before we before we hit this next one, just have a little practice because we're getting a little bit on the inside. So excellent. It's almost your reference point when you get back halfway. So we just come down slightly for me. Next one. When we get back to there. Yeah. Without the phone roll being there, imagine that that is parallel with the foot line. So I'll give you the drill to do in a second as well. Yeah, sure. And when we haven't got this, it's something we can keep practice on. Right. So just have a couple of practices and then we'll take it away again. You okay? I'm just getting pumped up. I'm getting <laughs> pumped up forearms, you know? And just squeezing everything to the time. Yeah. Loosey goosey. That's it. Good. It's nice in it because it's warm. It's been freezing outside and then you stiffen up after three or four hours. Yeah. If it's worse after three hours and after you've warmed up the place. I'd say we're lucky inside, obviously. I mean, don't get me wrong, on occasions it is very, very nice to see the actual wall fight. But because the launch monitors are so accurate these days, we've mm. got that benefit. So, you're going to take that away from your leave. I thought you were going to lie it down there, you see. I thought, ah, I know what this is. <laughs> we might come on to that in a second. <laughs> Lovely strike. There we go. Lovely strike. I enjoyed that one. Lovely stroke, well done. Okay, so left obviously before. Yeah. Right, we've got the foam roller in the way. Okay, so nice slow mo. So that is in, in, that's definitely inside. Inside. Now it's actually coming through the wrist position and a little bit of loss of connection in the right yeah. arm. Sorry, left arm. My mum's Irish, so I can uh, use the excuse of getting things wrong sometimes. Well, I got Irish in me as well. So now, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, perhaps. Better. It's better, still, isn't it? We've still got the disconnection. Because this one's stuck out behind my backside and that one isn't. But... Correct, yeah. Now, yeah. the one thing for me is we've got to fix that sort of angle there. I yep. almost want that as one. So, to give you an example, if we watch the magnificent Sergio... El Scorchio. As he comes back, yeah, we can see how that shaft is vir virtually parallel with his foot line. Yeah, but there's a very, very small angle between the shaft and his arm. 
Have you seen that? Oh dear, there's a long way to go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's certainly not impossible. Oh, so no, 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 it's not it, impossible. We'll get it sorted by the end of the session. So uh, what I'm going to do now is instead of focusing on you trying to get the feeling, we're going to focus on the wrists and the arm position Okay. to really sort of get it nailed in. So we're still going to use the example of trying to come back. Yeah. All right, so you see how now we're connected in here. And so there's no like disconnection in the arm there or angle with the other. So that's... That's going to drop out at some point if I complete the switch. Yeah. Right. So I almost want it there. Yeah. Up until the top. Yeah. And then, as far as I'm concerned, it can go there from yeah. that point. Okay. So I just want it to be more... So, and also if we concentrate on the wrists, so if you get nice and set for me. Good to go. Yeah. Yeah. I was make sure you're comfortable because otherwise it just doesn't make sense. So we're going to go back nicely. And you see how the wrists are sort of in line with the forearm? Yeah. They're not around there. No, so almost you've got that bone in essence. Oh, yeah, I've had it for a couple of years. So we're going to try and really get it nice and square. So the old fashioned way of doing it is the ruler down the glove. Yes. But you're going to see if you can do it on your own. But also just keep the connection in the arm bit so we don't disconnect. Okay. So even if this one goes 100 yards, you top it into the side netting. Yeah. I just really want you to feel the movement for me. Okay. How are these up your books? Just the yeah, ones that people forget. Um, is it just one? Was I getting this one? No, I'm fine, you should. Hopefully I get my money sorted out in the near future. I should be looking at an aeroplane fight soon. Coravite, Cora, whatever it's called, Paris <laughs> Okay. Yeah, right about the thing. So a little bit <coughs> disconnected. Okay. So on this one for me. Try to just stay in time with it. So don't try and get full swing. Okay. Just really try and emphasize the feeling that we're trying to uh, achieve. That's it. So, first point of reference is just back to my hand for me. Just so back to my hand. So, just when you're uh, there, we go. Fantastic. That's our money. We've got a great connection in this left arm pit. Forearm's good, wrist position solid. Yeah. A little bit of the right hand, perfect. But the flat is parallel with the line, and the flat is in a fantastic position. I'm trying to think what to do. Just think of that a bit. Good strike. It was almost there, wasn't it? So that, that first thing should be always keeping this back in. Nice and relaxed. Okay. I don't realise that it's pumped. <laughs> So even if you do a bit of a hecky matsu arm for me, where you go back nice and slowly, just to feel the position, I'd much rather you do that. Good. I feel very tilted. Much better. Now, I appreciate that wasn't your Sunday best in terms of strike. I think Velcro might have stuck that one. <laughs> <laughs> However, the position on that was superb. This was the arm. Love that strike. Lovely, lovely strike. It was, wasn't it? I enjoyed that one. So that's the one on the right is with the with the gloves in. With the gloves in. And so it's can, it's a fraction better, but it's it not It is. It is. It's not now what hugely we've, better. What we've got to look at is golf is a game of percentages and margins. Yeah. So although visually on camera it might not look drastically better, small changes at the time. So yes, obviously we want it where Sergio was. But we can see in stopping in exactly the same position, club head is more 
Yeah. Or so I should say less from the inside, as we can see. But we are still getting that slight disconnection in the armpit and the wrist obviously bowing slightly. Do you want these sweaty gloves okay. back? Let's give it a go without them. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I'm also now going to concentrate a bit more on the wrist for you. Okay. Okay. So let's give that a go. short term of getting it wrong yeah. in terms of mis striking the golf ball oh, I don't mind wrist a little bit I don't really mind trying. working on the range you yeah. know when I do my seven iron feet together yeah if it's the 40th ball that I find my timing that doesn't bother me okay. in fact I will have to really try to exaggerate that feeling probably even if it's a bit slower so from there two more that's going from that's okay <laughs> right so it's just a tiny bit better. So I was just going to come in and step in and try and sort that. But right, so. so it's just that. There you go. Almost if that does feel a bit more out. Yeah. Rather than being here. Let's go with it initially, just to get this position right. Okay. 
I used to do that fan on track where he would do that. Yeah. Go up, go do it. But he would he would set up here like this and then turn and then turn. Okay. A long, long time. I must Before your time, Mr. Fell. I was gonna say. Yeah. I, uh, I don't recall seeing it myself, but Too many things, things going on. Going on. So what I want you to focus on, let's let's make it simple. Because I don't want you going out here thinking was it this was that was this was that. Let purely just think. Here. Yep. Yeah. Here. Oh, I've forgotten about that. Doing something else. Okay. Right, yeah. Two things. The round table. Oh. <laughs> okay. pit yeah. Two things. Okay. That's it. Okay. A little bit toey, but Not good time. Right, no. right side. Nailed it. Basically spot on from where you uh, were aiming. Yeah. So there was no... No curvature. There was no curvature on that one. differences. Right. I, think, I think we'll finish on that one tonight. <laughs> um, carry two, three, two. They're not trying to hit it. No. What do you think of that then? That is going to be very, very hard work trying to sort out. Sorry about the lighting in here, it's, uh, it's absolutely filthy outside again. That is going to be very, very difficult for me to do, uh, but I'm not afraid of a bit of hard work. What I'm going to do is every chance I get, I'm going to go out in the back garden with uh, an old iron and just practice that takeaway just to try and get it straight and stop that damned wrist from bowing and then I'll go and see James again in two and a half, three weeks and uh, check on the progress but all I want to do now is play rain <sighs> never mind, ta -ra.